Hey everyone, I reviewed the XTAR SP100 panel a while back and it quickly became my favorite 100 watt panel because of its clean bifold design and the ability to deliver more than 100% of its rated output, which is unheard of in solar panels. XTAR now has a larger version called the SP150 that's a 150 watt monocrystal and folding panel with zippered cable storage, kickstands, and a 12 month warranty for $399 which is $2.66 per watt. It's really well built, but that means it's a pretty hefty 17.4 pounds. Side by side, it's almost the same size when folded, but the SP150 is double the length of the bifold SP100 and quite a bit thicker when folded. Let's test it out to see if it really delivers its 150 watt rating. Now overall, the SP150 has a pretty standard four panel design, but the four kickstands do a good job keeping the panels flat and rigid. I'm glad they switched to standard MC4 connectors on this panel, and it's nice they include MC4 to 8mm and 5525 adapter in the box so you can plug this directly into popular power stations like Blue Eddy and Goal Zero. The four kickstands are easy to set up and do a good job keeping the panels flat and at an optimal angle. I hate floppy panels, and this is nice and rigid. Connecting this to my Delta II with my MC4 to XT60 adapter, I measured 138 watts at noon on a clear day in September, which is 92% of its rated power. Once the panels heated up over 140 degrees, output dropped a bit to 132 watts, which is 88% of its rating. Most panels I've tested output 75% of their rated power in real world conditions, so this has great performance. When I covered one of the panels with a folder, output dropped to 97 watts, so shade tolerance is really good. So this panel almost delivers its full 150 watt rating, but it's striking how similar in size it is to a 200 watt panel like the Blue Eddy PV200. In fact, it's only about 5% smaller and actually weighs a pound more, so this kind of feels like a 200 watt panel that's being sold as a 150 watt panel. To test this theory out, I compared these two side by side under the same conditions. When folded, they're very similar in size. Unfolded, they're basically the same size as well, so it certainly looks like a 200 watt panel. The Blue Eddy panel output 130 watts when cool, but it quickly dropped to 124 watts, which is only 62% of its 200 watt rating. The XTAR SP150 output 132 watts, even when hot, which is 88% of its rating. The fact that these are basically the same size and the SP150 had slightly more output tells me this is actually a 200 watt panel that XTAR has conservatively rated at 150 watts. I went ahead and asked XTAR about this and they confirmed that's the case. So I really like how they conservatively rate their panels so they easily hit their rated output in the real world. This is not how the rest of the solar panel industry works and it's really refreshing. The benefit of this is XR is selling their panel for $399 versus $499 for the Blue Eddy, so you can save $100 if you go with the XTAR and you get better performance. I think the build quality and kickstands on the XTAR are better too. That's probably why it's a bit heavier. So in the end, I can definitely recommend the XTAR SP150. As with the SP100, it outputs more power for its rating than the rest of the industry. It has great construction and features and is a solid choice for mid to large size power stations. All right, that's my quick review. Thanks for watching, everyone. Till next time.